Ladies and gentlemen, today is Senior Day for Billiken Women's Basketball, and we are honored to introduce four women who are completing requirements for their bachelor's degrees this semester and will graduate from St. Louis University in May. Our one student manager and three student athletes will be introduced individually, and along with those who accompany them, will be greeted on the court by head coach Rebecca Tillett and athletics director Chris May, and will be presented with their senior gifts. First, an anthropology major from St. Charles, Missouri, student manager Emily Albers. <laughs> Emily is accompanied by her parents, Arlen and Karen. Emily has served faithfully as a Billiken women's basketball student manager for four years. In addition, she's been a patient care associate at Mercy Rehabilitation Hospital in Chesterfield. And her career plans include attending a physician assistant graduate program and beginning a healthcare career as a physician assistant. She is a member of Alpha Sigma Nu, the National Honor Society of Jesuit Universities, and Lambda Alpha, the National Honor Society for Anthropology. Let's hear it for student manager Emily Albert. Next, a psychology major from Istanbul, Turkey. Number 12, Saval Gol. <laughs> Saval is accompanied by head coach Rebecca Tillett. Saval has spent the past two seasons at St. Louis after transferring from the University of Arizona, playing in 39 games as the Billiken, recording 166 points and 108 rebounds. She's experienced great success playing for the national team in her native country of Turkey, competing in the European Championships several times at various age levels and in several countries. Most recently, she played with the senior national team in prep games for Eurobasket in Japan and Serbia, as well as in three-on-three -three European Championship qualifiers in France and the Czech Republic. Number 12, Saval Gaul. Next, an exercise science major from Chicago, Illinois, number 11, Julia Martinez. <laughs> Julia is accompanied by her parents, Rudy and Teresa. The 22-23 season has been a breakout year for Julia. She has set the St. Louis single season steals record and is fourth in the nation in steals per game. She has moved into the Billiken's career top 10 in steals and assists. She is the only player to rank among the top 10 in Atlantic 10 Conference women's basketball this season in each of the four categories of steals, offensive rebounds, assists, and total rebounds. She has double doubles in points and rebounds and in assists and rebounds, and she earned an A-10 Player of the Week award in January. In the classroom, she's a three-time member of the A-10 Commissioner's Honor Roll, and this year she is a College Sports Communicators Academic All-District Honoree. And this afternoon, she played in her 98th game as a Billiken. Let's hear it from number 11, Julia Martinez. And our final senior we honor today is an exercise science major from St. Louis, number 42, Brooke Flowers. Brooke is accompanied by her parents, Brian Lee and April Flowers. Brooke has established herself as one of the premier defensive players in women's college basketball, making the A-10 all-defensive team three times and earning the 21-22 A-10 Defensive Player of the Year Award. Earlier this year, she was included on the Naismith Defensive Player of the Year watch list and the Becky Hammond Mid-Major Player of the Year watch list. Brooke is a two-time selection to the All-Conference third team. She made the A-10 All-Rookie team as a freshman. Earlier this month, she was selected A-10's Player of the Week after recording the first triple-double in SLU women's basketball history. And in that game, she had a school record 11 blocks. 
She also holds school records for blocks in a season, career blocks, career rebounds, and career games played, stepping on the court for the 135th time as a Billiken here this afternoon. Brooke leads the nation in blocks this season, is approaching the top 20 in NCAA history in career blocks. She's also an offensive force. She ranks 16th on the Billiken's all-time scoring list with 1,205 career points. And academically, she's earned inclusion on last year's A-10 Commissioner's Honor Roll. Number 42, Brooke Flowers. And now let's hear a few words from each of our seniors and our head coach, Rebecca Tillett. Okay, Cheval's ready. Here she goes. Hi, everyone. Uh, I'm, I guess so emotional, so I just want to keep it short and thank all of my teammates and coaches. As they mentioned, like basketball took me a lot of places, but I think SLU is my favorite one. I learned a lot, I grew a lot, and I made lifelong friendships in here. Well, um, even though I'm the only one from my family in the U.S., I never felt alone just because of my teammates. <laughs> <I'm sorry>. <laughs> um, <laughs> I think we all have that special one, and Everyone has their own difficulties, but they were always there for me when I needed them. So thank you so much. <laughs> hey guys. I have a little uh, checklist I gotta think, so don't bear, or bear with me. Um, first thing I wanna say, thank you so much everyone for coming out and watching us get a huge win. Um, we needed your support and it helped a lot. Um, it feels just like yesterday. I was a freshman and I was listening to my seniors making a speech. And here I am now. It just feels so surreal. But just want to start off by saying thank you to a few people. Um, first thing is just the SLU community. Thank you so much for supporting us and creating such a great environment for us to play in every single day. Um, you know, whether you're here watching in person or watching it on TV, extended family came here today, it means a lot to all of us and we really appreciate it. Um, to SLU administration, thank you so much for creating all the opportunities that we have every day um, to be a student athlete here. Um, I consider myself so lucky to play for a program and university that really cares and supports women's basketball. Um, it's really special, you don't hear that as much from other universities. Uh, to Elena and Coach A, thank you so much for keeping my body healthy, all the stretching, recovery, rehab. You guys play such a huge role in all of our success, and um, I really appreciate everything you've done for me for the four years, all my injuries, because there's been a lot. Um, <laughs> uh, to my teammates, uh, you guys have pushed me every single day, and I'm just so lucky to have you guys um, as teammates, and I get to call you guys my best friends. Um, I just wouldn't want to go through this journey with anyone else. And, you know, we still got a long road ahead of us, but, um, yeah, just, you guys have made this so special, and I really appreciate it, and you guys will forever hold a special place in my heart. Love you guys. <laughs> Not done yet. <laughs> um, to Tillett and the whole entire coaching staff, um, thank you so much for just supporting and believing in me this year. Um, all your hard work with watching film, doing scouts, everything that happens behind the scenes, that not everyone sees, it truly, um, it means so much and just, I'm just so lucky to be coached by you guys and you've helped, you've helped create uh, and helped me like empower myself both on and off the court. Um, and it generally means so much and I'm just so lucky to be able to play for you guys. Um, and then lastly to my parents and my sisters who aren't here right now, but um, thank you so much for being my number one fan and supporters. Um, sometimes they fly in and out one day round trip just to watch me play. There's been times they've driven 13 hours in one day just to watch me play, even if I don't play at all or I play the whole game. No matter what it is, you guys have taught me that there's more beyond the sport that I play. Um, and you guys are just, I owe it all to you, all my success, everything like that. So thank you. Love you guys. Um, yeah, and so pretty much just 
Lastly, the SLU community administration, coaches, teammates, staff, parents, thank you so much for all the love and support you've given me the past four years. Thank you. Hey, everybody. <laughs> uh, thank you all for coming and for being here. Your support was amazing today. I think it helped us win this game. Um, so very thankful for the energy that was in the building today. I appreciate you guys coming out. Uh, first of all, I want to thank God. Wouldn't have made it, you know, these five years without him. So um, to administration, thank you so much for this opportunity. I feel so blessed to be able to um, play college basketball in my hometown. It really meant a lot to me. To my coaches and my teammates, past and present, thank you. You guys have all touched my life in a way that has just been special and has just made me a better woman, a better player. Um, to my parents, thank you guys. Uh, thank you just for all your love and support. To all my family that came out today, thank you. Special thank you to my mom. I wouldn't be able to get through all this without her. So thank you all for being here. Love you guys. Roll Bills. Okay, I'll keep mine short. Um, I just want to give a huge thank you to the team, uh, the coaches, any SLU staff. I really appreciate you guys giving me the opportunity to manage for you guys this four years. I've had such a great experience. I've loved watching you guys play this season and grow. You guys are amazing. Um, shout out to the uh, managers. Love you guys. Wouldn't be able to do it without you. <laughs> You make every day so much fun. So, and then of course, the hugest thank you to my parents who always support me in everything. So thank you. I don't know who would go longer, Julia or me, but it'll be close. We could maybe have a timer. First, thank you to everybody that came out. You absolutely helped us secure that important victory at this, you know, as we're rounding out the end of the season, trying to build momentum. Our plan as a team is to be the most dangerous team in the tournament. These seniors have led the way. You guys have led the way. Thank you for sticking with us as we grow throughout the season. Yeah. Huge, huge thank you to the pep band, the world's greatest pep band, for giving us that backing. Yeah, we really appreciate your support and your consistency with us throughout the season. And to our spirit squads, we look over, you guys are keeping, I heard today, we were forgetting to do the countdown on the shot clock, and I heard you guys, seven, six, five. So it takes all of us to build the type of program that we're trying to build here. And if you have friends that haven't seen us yet, bring them out, because this is a really special group of women. Make sure they see them before they take their next steps in their journey. Um, huge thank you to Chris May and Dr. Janet Oberly. We all came here, every woman on our roster, and everybody that chose to stay, and the whole staff, because this place cares about women's basketball. That's why you're here. You heard multiple women talk about it. We care about women's basketball, and we plan to fill this place while we're here. A uh, quick shout out to Emily, four-year manager. What dedication and commitment and all the things that managers do behind the scenes that allow us to be successful in these big moments. So huge thank you, Emily, for sticking with us as the new staff came. We really appreciate all of your hard work. She's one of the most organized humans on the planet. If you need any help with organization, hit Emily up. So thank you, Emily. <clears throat> Cheval, Cheval has had a year filled with different types of adversities. And through each and every time that adversity has hit Cheval, she has stood up stronger, taller, leaned on her teammates, helped other people in the process, she just got back to clearance um, playing the other day, and the whole team, multiple times, it seems like you were never out of practice. It seems like you didn't miss a beat. Um, she has a great mind for the game. You'll see if she ever plays in a three-on-three -three game again on TV, you can catch her online. She's really, really effective and smart in the game, and she's helped our team grow this year and continue to make our ascension. Thank you, Cheval. Julia Martinez, I hear lots of times, is a, is a fan favorite because of how hard she plays. We actually tell her not to throw her body on the floor that hard, but she does it anyway. So she'll go for any 50-50 ball. Any team you put her on has a chance to win, whatever drill it is, even if you stack the cards against her. She's grown so much as a woman and a leader in our program this year. 
and she's making an incredible impact day after day after day on the success of this team's journey. And like she said, we're not done yet. There's still a lot of work left to do. So thank you, Julia. We love coaching you and being teammates with you. And Brooke Flowers, a once in a, you know, sometimes lifetime opportunity to coach a player at her magnitude. The records that she's broken, the fact that she chose to stay in her hometown community and represent St. Louis. And when she had the opportunity last year to maybe stay or go, she chose again to represent this community and give back. She's got big, big opportunities ahead of her in the next couple of months. And she stayed really focused the entire time on her teammates, on our program, on making sure that we continue to elevate each time. Her leadership as a young woman has grown throughout the year. Her public speaking, as you saw, has grown. She's a tremendous, uh, going to be alum of this program who's going to be in the record books forever. Thank you for everything you've done, Brooke. I think that's it. All right, to wrap it up, stay with this team. We're playing a team tied for first on Wednesday. We need everybody back. We need you to bring friends. Let's go upset another team ranked above us. Here we go.